Welcome to this wonderful event. And now I'm going to invite to the stage Mr. Jean Paul, CEO and CEO of Advance. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Thank you. It is my honor to be here. Thank you, everybody. It is my biggest honor to introduce to you Salim Basul. Salim was named president and CEO of Six Flags in November 2021. Salim served as a director and was the non-executive chairman of the board from February 2021 to November 2021. Prior, he served as chairman of the board, CEO of the Middleby Corporation, a world leader in commercial and residential kitchen equipment and food processing and packaging solutions. And so with that, I invite to the stage Salim Basu. Good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here on behalf of all my colleagues who traveled far to join you on this conference tonight. We would like to thank Kamran, the entire team at Central Asia University, being our first visit to Uzbekistan, we've been very impressed. Well, I'm very happy to be here. It's my first visit to Uzbekistan, to Tashkent. Mm -hmm. And I am so surprised and positively impressed by the friendliness of the people, mm -hmm. uh, the infrastructure in the city, the emerging uh, architecture and parks and greenery, and the most important I like is the interaction I've had with the student at the Central Asia, Asia University. All of them are very eager to learn. They are smart. They are uh, very uh, highly educated and engaged. We used to have that. How, much, how long do you think it took for us to get into the park? One hour. Because if you are with strollers and you have a bag because you have... Uh, all the stuff for your children, all of that, you have to take the back, put it there. If there is something wrong, we check. We have to stop you. We went to a system called Evolve. You can check it out. It's the only system in the world we have. Thousands of people can walk at the same time. Thousands. Nothing. We don't search anything. When I did that, at the time, many of my board members we're questioning the decision. First, you have to start with the board and tell them, listen, I think we should elevate the experience, premiumization, have less people in the park. This is my first time in Uzbekistan. The people have been amazing. Um, and I find it very fascinating how well everybody speaks English and how young uh, the population is. Oh. Not this trip, but I was told by another gentleman that I had a business meeting with that next time I come, that I need to see Samarkand. Uh -huh. I, have, I haven't counted how many decisions I make in my role. Uh, I'm the CEO at our company, but I would venture to guess that it's probably less than 10 because I empowered our, our, t our team members to make their own decisions. And to Naman's point, only when there's a problem or a disagreement, then do I have to get involved and help them with the direction that we're going to go. Well, I've only been here for 24 hours, but so far I'm so impressed. Um, I think I start off with my whole experience from the airport all the way to the hotel and then visiting your campus. I keep on telling people what a clean and beautiful country it is. The greenery is phenomenal. I haven't seen a paper wrapper even on the floor or a plastic wrapper. It shows me that the people are very proud people. And uh, so far, everyone has been so courteous and kind and everyone receives us with a big smile. So for me, that's a big win. So when they do come to me, I, I prefer to give them more guidance if needed. But uh, I agree with Naman. I think you, they're there for a reason. And if you want your team to really grow, uh, you can't always give them a solution. So you can give them some guidance, but you, I prefer always to send them back to let them think and come back with a decision. So, but I don't count. I might start counting. Thanks.
thank you to you guys and a big round of applause. Thank you, JP. JP, thank you so much.